Woody's bar. We're gonna go interview him. Because this is a sports bar and I'm running Australian rugby league and um, I do UFC, soccer, golf, um, boxing. The customers. Customers for rent? Um, for, um, they, they rent this room by the hour for whatever reason they oh, need. Oh yeah, whatever reason they like, right? Yeah. Okay, if, I hear you. If they get drunk and they need to sleep. Everybody, welcome to Woody's Bar. This is Woody from Australia. He's a good mate. He's got a brand new bar, and he's going to take a few minutes and tell you what's going on. Tell you why he's here in Thailand and why he picked Waihan. And so why'd you come to Thailand? I love Thailand. I've um, lived in Phuket. I've lived in Pattaya, and Waihan is the nicest out of all the places in Thailand. Waihan's like authentic Thailand. It's, it's not overpopulated with tourists yet. Um, there'll be more tourists coming here in the future, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, of, of course, there's going to be a lot of tourists. It's a quieter lifestyle here. It's, um, it's easier to live here. It's not expensive. The people seem to be nicer in Wahin. Um, Phuket's overcrowded now, too many, too many people there. Um, Pattaya is um, too expensive. But um, Hua Hin is just laid back. It's, um, I'm, I'm not ha having a bar in Hua Hin. I didn't think that I was going to own a bar. I just sort of fell into it and then started, and <laughs> here we are. <laughs> as long as it recycles itself, I'm happy. You know, at the moment, I'm getting a steady flow of customers. It's, as you can see, it's not, some of the bars aren't even open yet. Maybe that's why I have customers. I also, because this is a sports bar and I'm running Australian rugby league and um, I do UFC, soccer, golf, um, boxing, whatever, whatever's on the, the, the big events on, I'll put on the TV. What did you do in Australia before coming out to I was Thailand? A, a crane operator. Crane operator to a bar operator. Yeah, I've never owned a bar before. <laughs> Good twist there, Woody. It is, but I had my own business in Australia, so and I've been in business for 20 years. So it's the same as any other business. You just can't spend the money. Um, you've got to live, live frugal, you know, um, and just try and make it work. In, the hardest thing in Thailand is to, to keep the staff. The lady that owns the Aladdin bar, she was fantastic when I, when I, when I renovated this. Um, she was really good at speaking English, so she did a lot of interpreting for me. And she actually designed the bar. She, she told me what she thought the way it should be, and she had that bar for 13 years. So I ran, I ran with it. I ran, you know, I took her advice and what she told me to do, I pretty much did. I'm the only sports bar like this in this area. And that's why I'm going to go okay with the customers. The only thing they've asked me is to charge the same price as them for beer. Um, it's a beer bar. I do sell spirits and a little bit of cocktails. Um, I only have one lady that can make the cocktails, and customers don't really ask for it here. They, they all want they all want beer, which is a good thing. The bar's only been going for five days, so um, they said it will take up to a month for the license to come through. But I'm allowed to, the girls are allowed to cook food for the customers and give it away. So on a day like today, um, soon enough the girls will go in the kitchen and they'll put on some chips and some chicken nuggets and some chicken wings. And Very good, good on you. And just give it out, you know. Um, but if I don't, if I don't give food away, people are going to go for a walk and get food somewhere else. And yeah, exactly. You might as you build up the clients, and I mean, eventually they know that you're going to charge them for the food. Yeah, but of you're building up a clientele. That's it. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But so so far so good. You know, like I'm starting to get some regular customers coming. A few new Australians come into the country yesterday, and this is the first bar I come to. They saw me on YouTube. There you go. See what what can YouTube do for for a new bar? Woody's. I saw I saw this bar one afternoon when I was walking down the street, and I'm all Woody's. I haven't seen that before. 
So I popped in and this gentleman wasn't here, but then I came back last night. So I'll link both of those videos in the description below. And make sure you check them out. And when you're walking around in Soy Bentabot, make sure you come and talk to Woody. Say hello, grab a beer. He's got a little cool condom here. So come in and say hello. Tell him that you saw Woody's bar on Johnny something happening. There's a couple of other videos out there on him. Yeah, the Island Hopper. Island Hopper. And don't forget CJ in Paradise. Appreciate it, Woody. Thank you very much. Maybe he's, he's got kind of a few customers right now, but maybe I can convince him to give us a little tour around. Maybe I don't know if he's got rooms upstairs or not. Yeah, we can go and have a look now. We can go pop around real quick. Yep. He's got TVs all over the place. Another TV there. Another one there. It's got a pool table. You guys all saw that last night when it was opened up. And through here we've got a kitchen. Oh, he's got the kitchen going on here. Oh my goodness, a full-blown kitchen. Yep. It's got fryers and hot plates and yeah, well, convection to get, oven. To get the food license, they come in and take photos of everything. Oh, um, wow. They're already making food. Oh, my goodness. Woody, you better start selling food. Got a whole well, freezer full. <laughs> yeah, at the moment, I can only give it away. We've got two bathrooms in there. One is the ladies and the other one's mine. I have my bedroom in there. There's is your bedroom there? You can have, have a Oh, it's look. not a big deal. It's just a bedroom. Wow, they're even folding your clothes. How nice. Yeah. No, my staff are great. And then um, you've got in, in, guest rooms here? I, I got, this, this is the ladies that work for me. Stay oh, okay. In this room, so I don't go in their room at all, of ever. Of course not. Of course not. Privacy, I, I hear you. This one here is for the customers. Customers for rent? Um, for, um, they, they rent this room by the hour for whatever reason they oh, need. Oh, yeah, whatever reason they like, right? Yeah. Okay, if, I hear you. If they get drunk and they need to sleep. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> We'll leave it like at that. that. <laughs> um, I put the lounge room up here for little for, lounge. Well, it's for the ladies, you know, really, um, so they can. They, they, it's got all the, all the channels on the TV for them. It's, it's in Thai, so it keeps them comfortable. Exactly. You got to keep your staff comfortable. <laughs> and now here's my sun deck. Oh wow! It's um. I've wow. got a, in, in the afternoons, this is well, another reason why I love Hua Hin. Nice view up here. It's, it's authentic Thailand. Yeah, exactly. It really, really is. Like Phuket, I come from the Gold Coast, Australia, and Phuket is so much like the Gold Coast now, and it's priced the same. It's more expensive to go on a holiday to Phuket than it is to go to Queensland, Australia. Say their prayer. Yeah, of course. Um, um, this is... Pretty much a female toilet, even though there is a urinal in there. Oh yeah, staff toilet. No, 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 not customer staff. toilet. Customer, customer toilet. toilet. Okay. Yeah, and for males, I put this out here. Um, oh my goodness! <laughs> in, in Australia, every night I wait on the lemon tree anyway. Aren't you worried about the weather, especially during rainy season? <laughs> no, because rainy season's like air conditioning. It gets that odd here. You don't mind when it rains. Okay, Woody, thanks a lot. Appreciate the tour. You're welcome. Hope that this brings you some more business. I hope so, too. And all the best Thank to you. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much Cheers, for coming. Cheers, mate. Take care. You too. There you go. Woody's Bar on what's known as Panama Soy. I want to thank Woody again for showing me the bar. Really appreciate it. Cheers. Be safe. Be happy in your paradise. And I'll see you all next time.